Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. If you're into folding knives, you're going to be into this one uh, because this is a absolutely wonderful uh, folding knife we've got here today. This is the Sog Fat Cat and that is a special knife in the Sog lineup. This knife is the largest folder that Sog has ever made and it is a sight to behold. It arrives in its own ballistic nylon sheath with some literature. SOG has a catalog here of some of their multi-tools and knives. Uh, they're, a, they're a great quality company. I really like the stuff they put out. It's good, high quality, um, and it's, it's, it's well thought out and well executed. I like that. Uh, the knife comes in a ballistic nylon sheath. Uh, it has a FRN type uh, belt clip here on the back. Uh, it's it's just it's your basic uh, basic simple sheath. Uh, it's it's good. It's sturdy. It's rugged. It's going to hold up for a long time. Uh, it's it has the company company logo there stitched on it. Uh, open at the top and bottom there on the sides. It secures with Velcro. And the knife ships in bubble wrap. Talk about Beauty and the Beast. This has got them both. That is a gorgeous knife. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, give you some of the specs on it here. The blade is four and a half inches long. It is made of VG10 steel, and uh, the overall length of the knife is 10.1 inches. The weight is 8.5 ounces. This handle here is made from solid titanium. Two slabs of titanium milled to accept a craton insert on each side. It has the arc lock and as far as the that's that's not a trick of the light you're seeing on the blade that is actually a two-tone blade let's get a look at that uh, the blade has a titanium nitride coating on it but the the flat part uh, the unbeveled part of the blade here has been left just as polished steel and the titanium nitride has been applied to to the spine to the swedge and to the hollow grind and also into the fuller but the the flat the flat part has been left uh, just with the polished steel gives it a gives it a distinctive look I don't know of any other knife that that does that thumb studs does have uh, traction grooves here on the top it's good for your good to get some traction there for your thumb the handle here you can see the bolster it is scalloped on both sides here and here so that you can so you can get your get your thumb in there and, and work open that that thumb stud. You can see it comes with a uh, plastic uh, film there on the bolster. I'm not going to take it off, but it's uh, that's there to protect it. 
The handle is craton, the handle this this material. That's a that's a grippy, rubbery kind of a material. It's it does have some give to it, but I wouldn't exactly call it soft. It's uh it's just it's tacky and rubbery and um, it just provides good grip and you can see there's good checkering on there. There's a lanyard hole. The company name has been laser cut into the um, liner there. The screws are T6's and the pivot is a T10. Uh, like I mentioned this has an arc lock and the arc lock, as, as you may know, uh, it's, it, it's a very excellent design. And if I can get a shot of this working for you, but you can see in there, you can see in here, this, this stop pin is uh, spring-loaded, and, and it rides the back of the blade as that goes up and down. Now, as the back of the blade comes, comes true, you'll see that there's a cutout there that it, it, it hits a flat surface, and when it does, the stop pin then rides forward and is now sitting on top of that flat piece of the blade. So now it, it, it can't be closed. Uh, to release the lock, this must be removed, pulled back up, and then, and then the blade can be rotated again. So you can see how that's working. Works pretty good. That's a very, very solid lockup. Yeah, that's a good looking knife, all right. And it's a it's a handful too. That's a full size knife. The action on this knife is really, really just slippery smooth and clean. I just really love the feel of it. SOG makes their knives, uh, the, 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 like for example the Mini Vulcan and the Tomcat and now this one, uh, it just, the action just feels like, um, I don't know, like, a, like a, a piece of jewelry or something. I mean, it's just really a nice, smooth, sweet action. Good looking. The back is is uh, closed. It's not an open frame design. The back does have some uh, material in there. The blade does have a slight recurve, and that is a a clip point, very very sharp. That VG10, it's got vanadium in it, and that is a very very sharp blade. Well, that's what you get. You get a really good looking knife and a sheath to carry it in. Thanks a lot. I'll see you again.